Hi folks, how's it going? Today I want to build a stick bait version of this little guy. Now this guy I made on my last video, it's a sinking balsa minnow, but I really like the shape and I reckon I can make a nice mackerel glide bait. So that's what we're going to do, hopefully going to be slow sink, um, sinking at the very least, but we're going to try and get a real slow sink. So jump in, let's get building. So here's our balsa wood. So just give yourself a bit of clearance at each end. Make a mark. Put it onto your balsa and just cut out another block the same size. Next we've got our double sided sticky tape and we're just going to take a couple of strips and pop them on to one side of your balsa. Once they're on just peel off the backing and then place your two bits of wood together. Give them a little squeeze. I'm just going to draw around that with a pen. Now we're just going to cut this guy out using the saw and using the knife. Next we're going to get our knife <coughs> and start to shape. Just give it a little sand, sand all the edges just to make sure they're Good. Okay, next we're going to take off, take this to bits. There we go. Next we've got some wire here, and this is one millimeter wire, and we're just going to clip off a length, roughly three times the length of the lure, and start with the line tie. Bang on, okay, so the next job here is just to mark where we've got these wires sitting. We've got three grams traveling up the back, so I need three grams in the front.
Right, now we get our guy here. Just gonna pop them together, press down. That's great. Now here I can see the length of our channel and how wide it needs to be. I can see where my weight is and I can see just where the wires are. Oh, that's good. Right, okay, we're nearly there. Now, it's much trickier to glue this one because we've got to be so careful not to get glue into any of these channels. That can be quite hard to do, but as long as we just get a tiny bit at the end here, lots along the top, maybe a little touch, tiniest bit on the outside edge there, we should be fine. Medium thickness super glue. more on the outside edge than anything. In fact, more on the outside face. And we're gonna pop the... Okay, now we're gonna go with shaping. Now it can be quite extreme on the top, but a lot less so at the, at the belly. And I'm just kind of going for it. There we go, that's fine. Pretty even. Okay, we've shaped it down roughly, now we're going to sand it. Now we're going to toughen it up with some UV resin and give it a good old coat of that and then see where we are. So we're going to put some white primer on the belly. Now, true mackerel style, we're going to go with black on the top and black around the head area. Now I'm going to use a bit of red. I'm going to put okay, so next thing we're just going to do our scales. So I'm going to take a length of this foil, hold it down, just use the thumb. And there we go, lots of lovely scales. So again, all I do is just un unstick one end, keep the backing paper on, line it up and then as it goes down run my thumb along it 
like so. Gently smooth it down with your thumb a bit. And we don't have to be too fussy with it because it's getting painted over. So. Okay, well I decided just to take the eyes out using the punch, but we've got a lot of work to do to make this look good. Some of the paint's lifted off here, but hey ho, we're gonna go with it anyway. some markings on here so now I'm going to use my Posca pen and this is just a black acrylic paint and it's the sort of thing that you really don't have to press very hard on so we're going to get our first bit here nicer <laughs> iridescent turquoise so it's pearlescent okay I've got this set really low and I'm just going to freehand some stripes key lime green I'm just gonna give it a gentle there we go there we go so I've just put a tiny bit of key lime green across it now 
for that. Now, lastly, I've got this little bit of red here. Well, he's come out pretty good. Very mackerel-like, and it's got a really good action. So it sinks slow, and when I twitch the rod tip, I can get it to dart from side to side, and that's really cool. Like I say, not without its flaws, a couple of scratches on the foil because I was rushing. And as far as the weight transfer system goes, it works. I mean, I can cast that a mile, but I, I'd prefer to use a thicker bit of material to begin with because I don't think that's that strong. But anyway, it's going to catch fish and I'm going to look forward to using it. So I want to thank everybody ever so much for sticking with the video this far. If you liked it, please leave me a thumbs up and be better yet, if you guys could subscribe, that would be amazing and uh, I'll see you on the next build.